Welcome everybody. I am your host, Bad Guy, and this is I Hate Everyone TV, your weekly pop culture digest for people in a hurry, where we shall recap all the fuckery that goes on in the world and explore the shenanigans that pop off on social media. If you are new to the channel, grand day to you. Whatever time zone you are located at, grand rising, grand afternoon, and grand evening. Let's get to our first headlines. This next news story is absolutely despicable. A travesty to humanity. People, this story is probably the greatest heist of chocolate history. Children scanned by the Willy Wanka. I mean Willy Wanka. Ha ha ha. So police were called to a so-called Willy Wonka inspired chocolate experience in Glasgow, Scotland, where they were promised people were promised extraordinary props, oversized lollipops, and a paradise of sweet treats. Welcome to Willie's Chocolate Experience. Dive into the whimsical of Willie's Chocolate Experience, a place where chocolate dreams come reality. Book your adventure now and embark on a journey filled with wondrous creations and enchanting surprises at every turn. This what the parents read on the website before booking, thinking this is an adventure brimming with magical creation and a surprise at every corner. But when the parents took their kids to the event, that was the moment when they found out they were taken for a bag of chips. No catfish. And this is what they saw, people. Let's show you a few pictures. Oh, look at this picture, people. Look at this Oompa Loompa. She looks like she's in a meth lab. She joined up thinking she's going to get paid in meth. But people, they gave her mentos. Ha, ha, ha. But anyway, the Glasgow Willy Wanka, Billy Cole, had to call off the experience halfway through the day in response of all the disgruntled rockers happening and promised to refund all attendees their money back. Billy, you child scammer, do the right thing. Next in our headlines, she stole 30k to spend the on a takeaway. People, before we go balls deep into this headline, I want to say this first. If you have a grandmammy or a grandpappy that's being cared for in a nursing home or being cared for at home by a carer, make it your duty to make sure they've been properly cared for. Make sure that the carer is doing their job the latest from the metro carer stole 30,000 to spend on takeaways and at betting shops lord have mercy let's get into this a vulnerable man was left starving in his freezing home while his despicable carer stole 30,000 from his savings to spend on takeaways ways and paying her own heating and electric people this woman is wicked anyway rachel Dawes, 43 cried in the dark like a pussy as she was jailed for more than two years for raiding 60 year old gary stewart's account while assigned to look after him between 2017 and 2021 Mm -hmm. The mom of two who has a previous conviction for fraud. Hmm, so Rachel is a city girl. She's been out here scamming. Okay, okay. Spent the cash on a new sofa, television, and washing machine, as well as 
dozens of payments to Amazon, Netflix, and fast food food deliveries. So Rachel's been out here scamming. Rachel Dawes is a city girl. Rachel has been using Gary Stewart's account to get that KFC Zingo Meal deal. Dozens more payments went to PayPal, eBay, betting shops, vets, and jewelers. Judge Catherine Pierpoint told her, you dipped into his account when and whenever you fancy. Yes, Judge, tell that city girl to stop scamming and lock her away. Anyway, people, we want to know what she was spending the money on. So here we go. Upon examination of the bank statements, Miss Becky and another care of people noticed there were irregular payments including regular pharmacy and score payments. Concerned, Miss Becky contacted SageCare and a further investigation found a long string of unusual payments from Mr. Stewart's account. So people, what we know so far that Rachel Dawes aka city girl Kara was out here being michael jackson with the money but we want to know how much she was spending and what she was spending the money on so in total doors made 53 payments to her amazon account four argus purchases four payments to bright house for a sofa washing machine and tv two car insurance payments 48 regular payments to her energy company 16 payments to betting shops two payments to rowington vets for pets 19 pharmacy payments six paypal and ebay purchases and two payments to jewelry shop pandora whoa but thank the gods that city girl rachel has been locked up because if i had it my way i would have sent the bitch to the phantom zone but anywho let's leave you with some words of wisdom by the smart fool how many others must be forced to suffer in silence like this man Please look after your elders and don't let them in the hands of ghastly people like this horrible dump truck of a woman. I applaud that. Oh, hello, welcome. I am your host, Bad Guy, and this is another episode of Read With Me, the part of the show where we explore the articles about the good, the bad, the ugly, and the fuckery that happens in these internet streets. So let's begin with our reading, people. We have a question from a young lady in need of some wisdom and guidance people let's see if we can give it to her no magnum excel Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin. I'm dealing with a bipolar man and it makes me sick. First, he dated me for two months and he opened his home to me and my three kids. What? 
two months and you already moved a bitch in. The pussy sweet you that much that you put on a superman cape and you save this baby mama from a life of destruction on the streets. What a honorable man. People, this man is Captain Save a Baby Mama. But anyway, let's continue. We moved out of my mom's house and into his town home. I registered my kids in his school district. He gave me a spare room to braid hair and earn money. We had fun and loving vibes. I know he loves me and adores my kids, but... I made one mistake and he threw us all out. Woo! What did you do, lady, for him to throw you out? Let's continue, people. My side dude huh, stopped by to get his braids done and to borrow some money. I also gave him a quick blow job. What? I did not know there was a camera in my braiding room or I wouldn't have slipped up like that. Oh, because you got caught. You're sorry now, you sneaky bitch. I apologize, but Mr. Bipolar switched up on me and threw me and the kids and all our things in the front yard. I took what I could to fit into the Uber. I can't believe how he snapped and turned on us like that. What relationship red flags did I miss? I'm so scared to be vulnerable with a man again advice people the holy spirit is stirring inside me right now and it's urging me to spit that ism to you right now this baby mama is trying to get saved she want to get saved but i ain't gonna save her no i won't save her i won't date her i'm about my paper real big shit man everything taylor vans on like a skater we eating over over here man everything catered she know i'm a player she wanna fuck now but i wanna fuck later she be looking for a baller somebody that keep her in designer Woo, people let me just say we ain't here to put on the superman cape to save these baby mamas no way no way and people she has the audacity to ask what relationship red flags did i miss bitch are you dumb and i say bitch respectfully you got caught in the breathing room with a nine inch cut down your throat and you're asking what red flags did i miss someone teleport this bitch send this bitch to the sun teleport this bitch to the sun and done fat men in red sandbox of fun Get ready guys and girls! Guess the next movie! Guess the next movie! your answers in the comments. Next in the headlines, people, husband sues his wife's lover for nine million. Woo, this is gonna be a good one. We gonna get introspective with this one. The latest from Inside Edition. A judge has awarded a North Carolina man nearly 9 million from a man who had an affair with his wife. <laughs> 
Keith King, 48, who runs BMX stunt shows, sued his wife's lover and was just awarded 8.8 .8 million from the judge after citing an obscure law. To me, that was the most important thing, the most sacred thing, my family, he said. Every time he knew I was out of town, he would come into town. People, let me say this one thing and I'm gonna say this one thing one time only. If you're having marriage or relationship issues and I'm talking to all the husbands out there, if you're having marriage and relationship issues, don't bring your wife, your girl, your Benita, Miss Senorita around me because if I smell... <laughs> any vulnerability i'm snatching up that bitch i'm applying my lyrics and i'm gonna give her the tender touch because if i like your girl you better look after your girl or i might just take your girl and make your girl my girl switch your girl with michelle switch michelle with chantal play chantal with chanel busy rascal I love you. Married woman, leave her alone. Don't you ever contact her again. But he says the affair continued for months in secret. Then last year, Danielle moved out of their home. Soon after, Keith went to her new apartment and was shocked to find the lover, Francisco Hooser, there. She's my wife, man. My She's my her wife. Is that is my wife, man. You need to stop. This is my Oh my god, people, this cannot be me. People, if I turned up at my wife's apartment and I found out her lover was servicing her like a MOT, if I turned up at my wife's apartment and I found out her lover was pressing her down like a waffle maker, no pancake mix, things gonna tear up the ho yo. I'm going Godzilla minus one up in this place. One thing I know for sure, people, women, they want a good man, but they don't want a wimpy ass man. This man looks like a wimpy ass man. This man is a wimpy ass man. Women, they want a good man. They want a man to make them feel excited, protected and listened to. They want their husband, their man to grab them by their throat press them up against the wall and go yo i want some cat no meow keith king he had a freak on his hands he didn't know how to apply the technique to keep such a woman if he had applied the technique properly on his woman, his woman wouldn't be out here creeping into next man's yard looking for Woody. No Toy Story. But in my eyes, everybody has caught a L. There's no W's in this situation. The husband is a wimpass and he lost his bitch. So he gets the first L. And on top of that, you sue the man that would bang it, that took your bitch and bang your bitch. You getting double L's. The wife, aka that bitch, she gets the L for being a disloyal, ungrateful B-I-T-C-H and I say bitch respectfully women, sorry for the language and the third L people goes to the wife's lover, the man is a broke ass, no, unlucky, he took the man's bitch, now he's broke.